Hi, this is Leah with the Mr. Lars 007 channel, and today we've been invited to Dr. Richard Allen Miller's home. It's a beautiful place. He's a magi, physicist, author of countless books, and we're going to go inside and hopefully we can get him on camera. It's a very special day, and we're hoping to learn a lot from him. I'm probably one of his biggest fans. So let's go inside. Let's learn. Hi, folks. This is Dr. Richard Allen Miller. Uh, just Rick. Okay. <laughs> Please. okay Engineers Rick. go by Dick, and physicists go by Rick. Okay, Rick. Thank you. <laughs> and we're looking at where you grew things here. No, I was going to take this Blackberry Pack. The way you normally take this way. Black... Out there, mm -hmm. Blackberry Pack. Yeah. Okay. And there's rabbits that live in there. That's a big warren down there. Probably about 30 rabbits. Okay. And they're jackrabbits, so they're big ones. Right. They're huge. Yeah. And they're uh, the warren. Mm -hmm. And there's a gray fox that hangs out, and then there's a red fox, and mm -hmm. then there's when the squirrels up here, peregrine falcon likes to get in a lower limb below. Okay. Because the squirrel will never look down. What it does is it throws its tail out in a plume, you know, that's right. And it's just, it's like on sensitive for all kinds of sound. I mean, hyper sound. And um, we had uh, pygmies that lived in that one there. And they're, now they'll come by here right now. Okay. They, out. they like to touch me. Oh. oh. Okay. And then over here, we have woodpeckers. Okay. Red-headed woodpeckers. Oh, I see one of the houses on the tree. Yeah. They live in there. Uh-huh. How cool is that? And there's my 35 kW generator. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me case. zoom. Uh, you you, you well, check it out monthly, right? There it is. And we have a pond down below. What if I owned the property, I'd have a water reservoir up here. The 35 kW generator is back up, probably working off a solar panel and diesel. I got a tank. I just put 10 k of solar in my shop. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Heat, it's going to get real cold this winter. Um, Jet Propulsion Laboratory says, worst winter in recorded history. And by 2024, there will be parts of Canada uninhabitable. It will be a day after tomorrow. So I hope he say there's going to be a burp from the sun that will be for four to seven hours. That means a part of the earth is going to get sterilized uh, with a pulse that you're going to need a minimum 10 feet between you and the sun for during that period. And that when you come back up, if you're gonna stay in that area, you're gonna need to come up with everything you need. So we mycorrhizae yeah, and seed. Everything will be sterilized. And my guess is it'll be from the northern Canada on down in through parts of the United States. Wait a minute. And then there's the earth, right? It's gonna push the tone one out, right? No, it's, well, like that. the earth is gonna turn <clears throat> and the sun is going to sterilize. People will get it, and people on the other side won't. And it'll be uh, the new epoch. And that new epoch, uh, this one is trial by fire. And it pays your ritual. Out of, out of and it's, I think, Iraq. it's not just the Hopis. Oh, the Hopi the is the Clovis. The Clovis, right. they're digging them out out of southern Mexico. I was down in Puebla with my mentor, Dr. Stanley Krippner, doing consciousness workshops and um, the, what they're unearthing is four times five times bigger than New York City they had space flight and they crawled out of a cave unbelievable and I absolutely believe it too well yeah. I don't belief is a tool it doesn't mean it's real what's real is your imagination that's why I will say Man has a responsibility for the thoughts he chooses to entertain. I agree totally with that. Yeah, that's, that's what you have to train your mind or you're gonna be caught up. It was Joseph Campbell that said that when you see the kingdom of the Father on earth, the apocalypse has already occurred. It is perpetual and it's potential. That's Joseph Campbell. And he was one of my teachers and I, look, Wow, look at that. The animals, you're already seeing it. 
and cow pies in the Midwest on farms. How few flies there are, how few ants there are. We don't have the ants like we used to. What about the bees? Einstein said, if we lose the bees, we die in four look at, years. Look at my mushrooms. Those are king beliefs. Oh, wow, they're huge. They're healthy. <laughs> they're edible. They're considered a white food. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. That's amazing. They don't like... have gills. They have a sponge underneath. They do a different kind. Of... Is oh, that wow. Fire pit? I'm sorry? Is that your fire pit? One of them. Look Another those one will be right over there. <laughs> Another one will be, let's see. <laughs> hey, where, where's your Z? It's in the garage. Oh, good. Keep it. Would you like to go for a little ride in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go for a hike. Okay. I want to get out in the woods. I'm your MacGyver. When I'm in the woods, like, you know, there's so much to eat. There's so much to feel. That, uh, so you're you, like Yul Gibbons then in that respect. I'm better than Yul Gibbons. I wrote a nine-volume encyclopedia. Oh, I think you're also older than Yul Gibbons lived to. Yeah, I'm going to live at least in the, I'm, I'm guessing I'll be about 130, 134. Uh, right. with what I do and how my diets and things like that. I think so. I think I've still got a good 30 years ahead of me. I would agree. Well, I yeah. think so. Completely. Well, my, my, one of my grandpas was 107 years old. Oh, yes. And he sounded just like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you'll notice that all the trees, all the trees, the pondies, are showing stress and death. Yeah. Everything is dying. I know. Look at this. I know. I've felt it for a long time. Look at that distress on the trees. I don't own this house, I would. These uh, dormers here are nice little places to put your CB, you know, Radio Free America, <laughs> inside one of these dormers, and they're false. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, there's all kinds of things that you could be doing, you know. I have a go bag, and, uh, and my leathers downstairs that I wear if I were to have to leave in one minute. Yeah. I have all of my stuff in one spot, including a field trauma and kit. What would, and what would cause that? Fire? Well, here probably. Yeah. An earthquake. Yeah. Flood. Flood, you know, just the Rogue River. <laughs> you, know, yeah. can it, you know, I was in the 78, I mean the uh, 90, 97 and 98 flood. Yeah, the Rogue River took out I was, lots of those homes. It came up to within two steps of my door, my front door. Well, you know, I was on the river, I was in floodplain. I yeah. lost six docks. Those wagon wheels out front are some remain of, they were in fully intact. When we went out into the river to recover some of our stuff, the Forest Service came by giving tickets to people because what the river claims, the river owns. Go out and go get stuff. It's not the same forestry department that we had in 1980. Well, BLM went through a major man, uh, uh, high end burp and they offered prison time for early retirement. And a bunch of BLM uh, left, and unfortunately, it was dominated then by a bunch of women, and they're just as corrupt. And worse, U.S. Forest or USDA, George Cleland. Said I walked on water. That was on letterhead. He was SBIR, SBA, USDA's SBIR program, and uh, for years, 30 years, and I did grants with him, where we did out in the woods, forest farming. Yeah. Now, what's the name of this car again? This is a 280Z, okay. 1976. Okay. Tell her the real name of it. And Watch we're firing that. it up now. Yeah, come to the back. Okay. No, stay come here with me. Look inside. Yeah. Impeccable. The engine. The license plate. 
It's fuel injected. Well, I'm not going to get his license plate. Look in at there. The, look at the license plate. Let me tell you what that I'm means. Tell you, look at the license. Plate. Can I film this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, magic. Medford, Ashland, Grants Pass, Illinois Valley, Cave Junction, and Klamath Falls, the free state of Jefferson. Hoorah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm for it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. That's it, man. I, I be, we'd be living in the free state of Jefferson. That's it. That's what it's about. It's uh, sovereignty on yeah, an individual, is. personal level. Yeah. Anyway, our, uh, we can do this later if you want to, but I'm, I'm going to lock it up now. Yeah, I well, don't I blame have a kill you. Switch. I have kill switches because they've tried to boot this a lot of times. Of course. Oh, what a beautiful car. It's restored by Rick. That's soon. What? That's Oh, yeah. that's later. I've always loved this car. 280Z, baby. This is the one the Ford Racing Team used to race Pikes Peak. It oh. was the fastest car in the world back then, even over the Porsche 911. Wow. How beautiful. It's a real wagon wheel. Absolutely. What a treat. Fully restored.